Salut salut my dear friend, welcome to my channel, I hope you are all doing well. So today I'm gonna take you on a small trip to Porto which is the second largest city in Portugal. So in the morning I took a float box from my city Coimbra to Porto and it was 1 hour and 40 minutes, almost 2 hours. So all that time I was just observing the beauty of this view as you can see here with me. In my first step I came to one of the most touristical places in Porto which it is called Chapel of Souls. So also this place is known as uh, Capela das Almaj in Portuguese. It's a relatively small church located in Porto, North Portugal which it is considered as one of the oldest historic centers of Europe. So it is always at the top of Massey landmark for tourists to see and probably the most photographic building in Porto, I think. From outside, the observer can enjoy the view of it is a surface fully covered with the blue and white ceramic title called Azolejos by the other who names Eduardo Light. The coverage of the church dates back to the 20th century during which the architect perfectly imitated the classic style of the previous century. So tourists can freely visit this church at any time of the year and any day of the week. Don't forget to come around when you are in Porto. It is definitely the sign to be seen. So in my next step, I came to Oliveria Lelo. This is a library. It has been one of the oldest bookstores in Portugal. And though it is unique historical and artistic value, it also considered as the third most beautiful library in the world. This library have attracted a thousand of visitors. The building was inaugurated on January 30, 1906 in an important social event for both Portuguese and Brazilian society attending by famous people from different spheres. Rumor has it that uh, J.K. Rowling's inspiration to write Harry Potter has begun in Porto, particularly at this library. The well-known writer lived in Porto for 10 years the policy is very strict concerning photography inside the library and for a reason this is a private space which it is full of people all the time but a minority end buying a book however you can still enter for a free and enjoy the manifest of uh, the building and there are a great podcast that you can buy and take home to complete your uh, photo album so in the next step i came to this place which it is called uh, clerigos uh, tower it's near to this library, it is a 75 meter higher, it's the icon of Porto, since it is construction in 1763 to the late 19th century, Clerigos Tower was the tallest building in Portugal. Then I came to the most beautiful McDonald's in the world. I don't know why it says the most beautiful, it's not me, it's the Google who says. I was curious to see inside how it looked like and I just came. Okay, to be serious, it was really normal. It can be beautiful than other McDonald's, but I didn't know that this is the most beautiful one in the world. I was shocked. I like it inside and I thought also that the prices of uh, the food it would be really expensive but when I check it it was even 
cheaper than some other McDonald's that I have been in other cities. Then I came to this station which is called Porto Sao Pento. It's uh, often described as uh, one of the most beautiful train station in the entire world. This building was uh, constructed over a number of years starting in 1904 based on plan by an architect with called Jose Marquez da Silva. There are approximately 22,000 as a logos title dated from 1905 until 1960 that were composed by uh, George Collagos, an important painter in Portugal. The mural represents moments in the country's history and the multicolored panel depict the rural scene showing the people of various regions. After that, I came to this place, which it is called uh, Praja de Ribera. It is uh, one of the oldest and most typical area of uh, this city, Porto, Portugal. Located at a key point for commercial development, Praja do Ribera has always deserved the attention of uh, authority responsible for urban planning and uh, city management. Currently, Praja da Ribera is an essential place to visit for everyone passing through this uh, city, offering many restaurants and especially nightlife space. This bridge is designed by German architect Theophil Seyrig, a disciple, a business partner of French engineer Alexander Eiffel of uh, Eiffel Tower Farm. So this bridge, called the Pont Dom Louis I, had the longest span of any metal bridge in the world when it was completed in 1886. The imposing and elegant two-desk structure made with the iron beam seems to be stitched together. It is without a doubt an outstanding example of the 19th century engineering capability. And as you can see here from the top, there is an incredible view of the river Dura and the Ribera. It uh, connects Porto with uh, neighboring Villa Nova de Gay, which it is the other side. So here you can see this uh, breathtaking view. I really enjoy it and I like it, especially from upstairs. It was amazing to see the river and everything from here. And I was like, uh, really like this place for me is the most beautiful place in all this city. And especially in the sunset, you can just observe this breathtaking view and you can see the sunset from this place. And also I will recommend you to not leave Porto without a photo, especially in this bridge in the background. You can also find my pictures in Instagram. This is the most place that I like it in Porto, especially in the sunset. And finally, I came to eat the most famous sweet in Portugal, which it is called Pastel de Nata. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it all.